believe in ghosts? Down in Louisiana, between the Cajun villages of St. Martinville and Broussard, lies a road with an ill-omened bridge. The name of the road is Rue Bayou Touté, Turtle Bayou Road. But most locals know it by its nickname, Stone Road for the teenagers who used to get stoned on drugs there. At the parish line, a small bridge crosses over the airy bayou, where tall cypress trees draped with Spanish moss line the banks. Although alligators and water moccasins teem in the waters of this bayou, most people are more concerned with the ghost of a Cajun girl named Mary. Against the wishes of her parents, Mary, who is dating an American, a term used by the locals for a non-Cajun or Creole, a good Catholic girl, Mary refused to give in to her boyfriend's sexual advances. Just before midnight, on the last day of her life, Mary and her boyfriend, who was dead drunk, were driving through the countryside when he shouted, give in or I'll throw you in the bayou. Mary begged him to take her home, but the boy simply repeated, repeated his ugly threat. When Mary tried to flee, the story goes, her boyfriend hit her in the back of the head with a whiskey bottle until she lost consciousness. He then took her and dumped her body in the bayou where the gators would undoubtedly do the rest. Despite the intense search that followed the sickening crime, Mary's body was never found. The boyfriend disappeared about a week later, but all of his belongings were left at his house. It is rumored that Mary's father damned the boy to the same fate as his only daughter had suffered, and it appears the hex must have worked. To this day, they say if you go to the bridge at midnight and turn off your car and then call out, Mary, 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 your car will not start and you will have to push it off the bridge before you can get it running. But that pales in comparison to another supposed occurrence. At midnight, on the anniversary of her brutal murder, you can see Mary frantically circling the bridge in a long white dress, imprisoned there after her life was cut short by an evil boyfriend.